Okay, you guys, gather around. All right, gather around, gather around. Today, we're going to be discussing five naughty, dirty little secrets that a lot of women don't want men to know. Now, some of these things on this list may surprise you. Uh, Some of them may throw you off, but rest assured that it's accurate, all right? Now, ladies, y'all chime in. Let me know if you agree or disagree with what I'm getting ready to say. Fellas, y'all do the same thing, okay? But this is what I came up with, and I feel like it's pretty accurate as it pertains to a lot of women, okay? So, the first thing, you guys, that... A lot of women don't want men to know as far as, you know, a dirty little secret of ours is this. Women like it when you rough handle them. Hold on. Ho, 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 ho. Let me elaborate. Okay, so... You guys, starting off, we like to know that you are gentle, right? We want to know that you are a gentleman. You're not going to come off too strong or too overbearing or overpowering and stuff like that, right? But once a woman pretty much comes to the conclusion that she likes you, and she wants to be with you and so on and so forth. And she already kind of established that you are a gentleman, right? You know how to be, you know, soft and nurturing and loving and timid and stuff of that sort, right? Once she kind of has that figured out and she likes you, now she wants you to kind of manhandle her up a little bit. It's something about a man that is gentle and timid and respectful and all of that is something about when that same type of man can turn it up a notch and kind of just like you know have you like scorpion get over here you know just make you feel like a little bit of a damsel in distress type of energy you know um very much so the the how can i put this the 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 woman and godzilla like we want to feel like you're that type of guy to where you can be a savage and a monster but at the same time you know you're very gentle and loving and 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 timid and nurturing when it comes to us you know we like that and a lot of women they they would keep that a secret and i don't know why i guess it's because you know we want to have it in men's minds that, you know, we're little, you know, princesses and, you know, we're not like that. You know, I, I'm a good girl, but low key fellas, even the good girls. All right. They want you to rough handle them a little bit. It, it turns us on. Okay. And again, I, I think it, it is something about that nice little balance of knowing that your man can be timid and soft and nurturing and gentle. But at the same time, he knows how to flip molds a little bit and and, and get those juices, okay, flowing, if you know what I mean, okay? So women, we like to be rough handled a little bit. We really do. Again, it's sexy when you are able to just kind of switch modes like that. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, not only is he a gentleman and he's charming and he's nice and all of that, but he know how to smack that ass a little bit, okay? He knows how to grab us up and make us act right a little bit like we love that now 
we're not talking about being abusive, y'all. Like, no, 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 no. So, so when it comes to this, this is more so along the lines of, you know, being passionate in the bedroom or just being very assertive and a little bit of aggressive when it comes when it comes to the bedroom and love making. But not as far as like choking her up and, and slamming her on the ground and put, like none of that. Okay. Well, maybe just a little bit of a choke in the bedroom. But y'all know what we're trying to say, okay? But long story short, okay, women secretly love when men rough handle them, okay? We like it, all right? It's like, ooh, he's so strong. But at the same time, you know, he's so gentle. I love that. We love that shit, okay? Don't let her fool you. She likes it. And next on our list as far as you know a dirty little secret that us women try to withhold from men oh and this ties into what I just said as far as like you know being rough a little bit you know what I mean especially as it as it pertains to the bedroom women secretly like it when you talk dirty and slightly disrespectful in the bedroom, hold up. Fellas, do not hold back. Let me repeat myself, fellas, when it comes to the dirty talking and all of that in the bedroom, like we love that. We love when you are borderline disrespectful, when you are, you know, beating it up, all up in it, you know, all of that. We like, we love that. Um, it, it, it feeds into our animalistic side uh, of us being a, a woman, it makes us really, it, it un- unleashes this, this beast within us, you know? So <laughs> I know y'all, I know y'all all are like, what y'all like that? Sh-? Yes. You know, it, again, it, it, it's, it triggers something within us that makes us also want to just like turn it up a notch right it's like oh you know i'm blowing his mind so much or he loves this so much that he can't control you know his outbursts you know he can't control what he is saying because he's just so lost in the sauce if you know what i mean you know we love it um and a lot of men would, would hold back thinking that, okay, I don't want to say that because, you know, I don't want to offend her or I don't want to, you know, kill the mood or whatever the case is. And I'm telling y'all, brothers, I'm telling y'all, we secretly love when you talk dirty. And, you know, when you go, when even when you go to the, the side of borderline being disrespectful, it's still like sexy to us. Like, oh. Like, oh, like, he's so in the moment. Like, he's not even, he can't even think straight. Like, it, it, it does something to our ego, I believe, right? I think that's really what it is, fellas. You know, it, it, it triggers something within our ego that is like, damn, like, he, I'm really blowing his mind so much so that he can't control what he's saying. He can't control what he's doing. He can't control, like he's out of control at this moment. Right. And again, it also makes us as women want to like turn it up a notch too, because you're being, uh, I guess, aggressive and over the top and you're losing yourself in the moment. And so now it's like, oh, okay, well, let me, let me see what else I can get him to say. Let me get, let me see what else I can get him to do. Like, this is what's happening. And so fellas, don't hold back. All right. Don't hold back with the dirty talks. Okay. Don't hold back with the curse words, whatever you need to do, do it. I promise you, she likes it. You know what I mean? She likes it. All of that. It, it, it's not off limits when it comes to the bedroom okay we love that shit even the the goodest of the good girls they love when you turn up like this we love to be rough handled okay and we love when you talk dirty you know 
and, and get a little bit disrespectful because it's just showing how how lost in the passion that you are. And again, it strokes our ego to make us feel like, oh, we, I know what I'm doing. You know, I, he, and he likes what I'm doing. He loves what I'm doing. All right. Yeah. Look, y'all disagree with me if you want to. Or you can agree with me. Y'all let me know. Ladies, I really want to hear from y'all, okay? I know I am not the only one and the other women that I talk to, we are not the only ones that secretly like this, all right? Fellas, don't let the smooth taste fool you. She likes all of that, okay? Women are just as nasty and kinky as y'all. We're not going to hold you. All right, and with that said, let's move on. Okay, let's move it along, okay? The next thing that women secretly, okay, don't want men to know, you know, as far as being naughty and dirty, okay, is, <laughs> oh, and a lot of y'all, let me say this before I pull this one up on the screen. A lot of y'all may have it in your minds that, you know, us women are just so innocent and, you know, we don't really have a, a motive or we don't have secret agendas and intentions. Like, no. And y'all are like, well, I don't want to make that move because, you know, once again, you're thinking about offending her or, you know, killing the mood or turning her off and all of that. Let me tell y'all something, brothers. Women are secretly hoping, do you hear me, brothers? We are secretly hoping that that chill session turns into a drill session. Hold on. Yes. Fellas. If you invite a girl over to your house, right? And you're like, hey, you know, would you like to just uh, watch some movies, watch some shows, relax, you know, chill? If she agrees to that, fellas, she wants a drill session, not just a chill session. If she agrees to that, she wants a drill session, okay, period, all right? Don't let them look. We're secretly like, oh, okay, well, let me put let me put on my best lingerie. Let me get my best perfumes, my best lotions. Come on, fellas. Best believe she soaked really good in a bubble bath before she came over to chill because she already had the, the motive and the intention of getting drilled that night. Okay, now, there's going to be exceptions to these rules. However, for the most part, you guys, we are secretly hoping and wishing that, you know, this movie hurry up and goes off or, hear me out, or you make a move while we're cuddling, while we're spooning, uh, while we're watching the show, while we're watching the movie. Like, we're waiting, fellas. OK, we are absolutely waiting for you to make some kind of move to turn this chill session into a drill. Se just period. OK, we want that drill session just as bad as y'all do. All right. Period. Come on. Come on. We're going to leave it alone. And fellas, I know you've had a situation like that before when you were dealing with a woman and it was like, well, damn, like I was just, like, let's say it like this, you guys, it, it's some guys out there that their motive was just to chill. But, you know, the, the girl, she was more hands on than him. She, like, she didn't even give the movie a, 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 a chance. She didn't even give the show a, a chance to come all the way on. She already, you know, got her, her pants off or, you know, got her leg wrapped around you. Like, come on. She already trying to tickle the pickle. Like, come on. So, yes, yes, fellas, 
one of our dirty little secrets is we are secretly hoping that this chill session turns into a drill session. Best believe we already prepped for it. We already had it thought out in our minds as far as how we're going to make the move or how you're going to make the move. We we got it planned out. All right. All right. So, fellas, just keep that in mind. Am I talking too much, ladies? Maybe. Maybe not. Y'all let me know. Moving along. Okay. The next thing out of the five dirty little secrets that women don't want men to know is women like it when you pop first. Sometimes. Now, what do we mean by pop first? What we mean by pop first is when you climax first, right? We like that sometimes because, again, it strokes our ego, okay? Just like when you talk dirty and all that. Like, it strokes our ego to make us feel like, you know what, I put it down on them. You know what? I got that. I got that work. You know what? I got that good. Okay. With the T. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I got that good. And so when you're able to climax before your woman, it it, it makes her feel accomplished. Like, oh, look what I did. You know, Uh, you know, he could not even resist. He couldn't control himself. Again, goes back to those outbursts. It, it just, it does something with our pride when our man is able to pop first, right? Because it's like, damn, like, I did that, you know, I did that. Especially, and this is another little, this is real naughty, okay? This is, look, let me say this. This is for the grown and sexy. So if you're a little child, you don't need to be watching this one, Okay. Um, should I say that, Danica? That may be a little bit too much for TV. Hell, we're gonna say it. We're grown, okay? Especially when she gets you to pop, you know. From the top, okay? Especially when she gets you to pop from the top. Like, that really makes us feel like, you know what, I got that fire, I got that work, you know, I'm talented at what I do. Like it and and then on top of that, fellas, it it does something to us when we're able to see that you're being pleasured or you're being satisfied in that way. You know what I mean? So, you know, sometimes it's it's good to have you go ahead and Pop goes the weasel first because again, it, it just makes us feel like you know we're we're talented, we're good. Uh, you enjoy us, we're able to satisfy you, and it just makes us feel good as women, you know. Now, the reason why I said sometimes is because uh, we need you to go ahead and you know handle us too. Um, but from time to time, it's nothing wrong with you guys popping. And let me say this. Let me say this too. And this is going to be a real doozy for the ladies. Okay. And a lot of ladies may have an issue with this, but I'm going to go ahead and put it out there because I feel like it's accurate and y'all just don't want men to know this either. All right. Fellas, even if you pop prematurely, like that's still an ego stroke because it makes her once again feel like it was so great that you could not control yourself. You could not hold back, you know? And so that's also a dirty little secret that females or women don't want you to know is that, you know, when when they're able to make you go instantaneously, you know, it's like, oh, okay. I must, I must got that grippage, you know? I must got that sloppy, you know? I just must got that magic. So, you know, fellas, they may not want to tell you that, but I'm going to tell you, like, low-key, sometimes we like when you pop prematurely or you pop first. 
because again, it makes us feel like we got that work. All right. <laughs> Look, ladies, don't crucify me. Look, it's gonna be some women out there like, oh, that's some bullshit because I'm so tired of my man not satisfying me. Look here, fellas. I'm not saying to do that every time, okay? Because you know your woman needs to be satisfied too. But don't be discouraged and don't feel embarrassed or ashamed. If you come first or if you come fast, because I'm telling you, it's going to make your feel your, your woman feel good some of the times when you do so. And I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. Yeah, look, ladies, I know I'm, look, I know me and my homegirls not the only ones. Y'all let me know. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I don't know, but I'm just telling y'all be some secrets y'all don't want men to know. <laughs> moving along to the last thing on our list out of the five dirty naughty little secrets that women don't want men to know and the last thing is you guys <sighs> women want to be your naughty little freak leak I like it, daddy. Hey, I, we like to be. We want to be. We desire to be your naughty little freakily. And uh, fellas, once again, I don't care how much of a lady, how much of a sophisticated feminine we want to be your naughty little freak of league okay we want to be able to be the best of all of your worlds all right we want to be the woman that you know that you can take home to your mama all right and also the one that can get it popping on a handstand for you you know because we want to be our man's everything and so don't have it in your mind that, you know, well, you know, my woman, she, she wouldn't want to do that. Or she, she wouldn't, she wouldn't do that if I asked her to trust me, you never know, never be too ashamed, embarrassed, uh, afraid to ask your woman, you know, for, you know, some naughty little favors because you just never know she may be into it she may be wanting to do it and again like we just want to satisfy our men we want to be that woman that can satisfy him on all levels you know we don't want you to have to look outside of the relationship or look outside of the uh, the bedroom for anything Right. And so we're we're ready and willing to be your naughty little freak of the OK, we do. We 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 we're waiting for that, especially, fellas, if we really like you. You know, if if a if a woman really likes you, like she's waiting for the opportunity to show up and show out because she wants to have you sprung, baby. OK. And. Especially considering the fact that a lot of women, we we have to put on this facade like, oh well, I'm a, I, I'm a I'm a, a lady, you know, um, I'm a good girl. Um, I don't I don't get involved in it, and so we're we can't wait to show you how diverse we are. We can't wait to show you our different sides. We can't wait to show you our shadow self, if you will. You know, especially when we really like you, because what we're trying to, you know, show to you is that, hey, I have it all. You know, I, I can be once again, the girl that you take home to your mom. And I can also be the one that, you know, make you pop from the top. Like, come on. You know, and so what we're trying to do once again is solidify you and have you not go anywhere right? You are here to stay because you have figured out that I am the best of all worlds. I'm the good girl and I'm the bad girl, right? I'm the lady in the streets and the freak a leak in the sheets. All right. But 
those are my five naughty, dirty little secrets that women don't want men to know. Y'all let me know. How did you feel about my list? Did you agree with it? Did you disagree with it? All of it is welcome. Let us know. Okay. Uh, can you vouch for this? Ladies, can you vouch for what I'm saying? Fellas, can you vouch for and confirm what I'm saying? It's probably some of y'all girlfriends or some of y'all exes from the past to where it was like, man, you know, I thought she was such a good girl, but she liked when I rough handled her. She liked when I talked dirty to her and I was a little bit disrespectful in the bedroom, you know? Uh, she Every time we tried to chill, you know, she wanted to drill, you know? Holiday, let me, y'all let me know. Was she a little freak of leak? All right. Did she not mind when you pop first? You know, you know, sometimes we like it so, so much when you pop first, fellas, let's make us feel so good. Then we're like, oh no, you know, it's fine. You know, I'm just here to please you. You know, we, we'll get them and get, and get you a, a cup of water, you know, get you some juice. You know, I'm sure y'all have had dry moments, fellas, to where it was like, damn, she didn't even trip off of that. I wonder why. Well, now you know why. All right. You stroked her ego, made her feel like she undid some work on you. All right. But y'all let me know. I'll let y'all know. Uh, well, actually, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this quick dope discussion. I'll let y'all know how I felt or, you know, what my opinions were. And I, like I said, I think a lot of women would co-sign this list, y'all. But Y'all let me know. I'll see y'all later. Zanique Marie, Dope Discussions. Y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. We are out. Peace to my crown heads. <laughs>